times a year that divorce lawyers tend to hear from old clients. One of them is the holidays and the other one is usually this time. And that's because there's a disagreement between parents over summer vacation time. And usually the argument sounds something like this. Hey, I planned a vacation. The rental goes from Saturday to Saturday. Is it okay if I take an extra day even though it's your weekend? And the other parent automatically replies, absolutely not. I want you home on Friday. I'm not letting you take my weekend. Or maybe the other parent says, hey, we're thinking about staying an extra day. Is that okay? And the other parent says, no way. Uh, your vacation time were, was seven days and I absolutely don't agree for it to be an eighth day. So heads up. Summer vacation is supposed to be fun for your kids and fun for your family. It's supposed to be an opportunity for your kids to make memories with their other parent. So if you're the parent who's automatically saying no, I'm asking you, is your response because it's child-centered or is it because it's self-centered? And what I mean is if your, your answer to that question starts with an I, that means that you're saying no because it has more to do with you than it has to do with your actual child. So kids will know when their parents argue. And if every time a summer vacation is getting planned, there's an argument around the time for that, your kid's gonna know that. And that's gonna be part of the memories that they grow up with. Don't do that to them. It's not going to hurt if, if the vacation goes an extra day. Listen, what it comes down to is don't be a jerk. Be accommodating, flexible, and open. That's what co-parenting is about. And at some point, you're going to want to ask for the same thing in return.